Right, the middle donkey are doing a raw sienna and a little bit of um, cobalt blue. We need to vary them, otherwise they just merge into each other. It doesn't matter if our donkeys are slightly on the blue side, it's the tone that we're looking at. Which is darker that side. And then the sunlight's hitting it this side. Can make that a little bit warmer with a little bit more raw sienna. I need that to dry before I can put the dark bits on from the donkey. The one next to it is very dark, so I think a mixture of ultramarine and burnt umber. Trying to get some dry brush marks onto the legs. And the ends are quite dark, so a little bit of sepia and Prussian blue just for the hooves. And donkeys underneath are very light, so I'm taking the paint off the brush and I'm just going to wash out those lighter bits under their tummy. Again, just leave that until it dries and then we can put some more detail in. The next donkey along can be the same mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine, but with just a little bit more blue added to it. It's quite light this side, so just take out some of the colour. And then darker on the other side. As you can see, I've also placed the donkeys in the drawing slightly closer together because that just adds a little bit of a better composition. And also I've turned it round. Instead of being landscape, it's going to be a portrait because again, I think it just has more impact. I'm just putting the dark shapes into the legs. It's a nice dark leg there. And on to the next donkey. I think that can be more on the brown side. So again, where the light's hitting it, that's nice and light. And then a thicker mix. Just quick, simple brush marks. Look at the shape that the head's making. Let's wash out where it's lighter and onto the last one, which can just be sepia on its own. Let's paint it in quickly. We'll take some of that white underneath out in a minute. Don't fill it all in in great detail, just leave some gaps and that will just add to the movement. And now take the paint off your brush. Take some colour from under its tummy and under the back leg. Right, so I'm going to let that dry and then I can put the tails in. Right, now our paint's dried, we can carry on with the detail. I'm going to put in some of the saddle blanket and I'm just using the SAA all rounder brush. So Prussian blue, a little bit of lemon mixed into that. And now we get to the interesting bit. Uh, sepia and I'm looking at the very dark tones of the donkey's tails and anything that is very very dark on the donkey. Sort of feathering it out a little bit to get some movement. It can be darker here. And now on to the next one, again still using the sepia.
And just work your way along, don't make it difficult. They're just, just little dry brush marks. I'll just put those in. Now to the next one. And then the final donkey. There's a bit of a saddle to go in here. I just alter that colour because it is the same as a donkey. So there's a little bit of burnt umber going into this. Mm. 